time here on DCU's Glasnevin campus where excitement is building for the upcoming student union elections. With voting commencing soon, I sit down with the club's officer, Thomas Dorian, who hopes to be re-elected again for a second term. He is the sole candidate running for the position of club's officer and I sit down with him to see why he's running again. So Thomas, you're the current club's officer for this academic year and you're hoping to be re-elected? Yeah, that's right. So can you tell me some of your achievements over the last number of months? So since I uh, came into this position, I've had the two give it a go weeks. I've um, had copper detox jogs on mm -hmm. St. Pat's campus and hopefully we'll have them in class now and soon. And same with cookery classes, um, myself and some students and staff done a cookery course in semester one and then it's on, ca on campus in semester two. You mentioned in your manifesto a lack of club committee training. Now like anything, training is so, so important. How can you ensure that this won't occur again? Well, training is really important for the clubs to be run successfully. And up until last year, there was the pod training that quite frankly made most clubs quiver. But um, I'm hoping to bring it back to basics and I've already been talking to Siobhan Byrne, who's finance for clubs and socks, and Yvonne McGowan, who is the sports development officer for the college. So over the summer, we're going to put a plan in place that the CLC and SLC committees will be giving clubs and socks the training themselves, just to familiarise our duty with each other and give high quality training. So you've spoken about the slow uptake of female participation, particularly for club sports. How can you tackle that? So we generally see girls dropping out of sports when they're in secondary school and coming up to leave and say that. But I think sports for energy is so important, like for mental health and exercise and good healthy living. But um, I'm going to have talks at the start of the year with sports personalities. Next, this week actually, I have three celebrities as such coming in. So we have Rosemary Smith, who's an eight-year-old rally driver, who's fantastic. Um, a staff member here, Fiona Hudson, who plays for the women's GA team and Eve McChrystal who's an Olympian. So these are three different women of all ages across different sports and different abilities to talk to our students and tell them the benefits of sport. So I'll be having more of that at the start of the semester. Great. Um, you'll also be going into your final year of college. You, you're quite fortunate enough to be able to learn from your mistakes. How do you think your workload will impact your role when going into final year? Well. With my course, there is very little of a change between workload and final year. And uh, this year, I spent a lot of time getting resources ready so that if, when I am in the role, hopefully next year, I can just pull out stuff as uh, we're going along. And like for me, we didn't really start until September, where really we come into this role during the summertime, and there's a lot of time lost there. So I'll hopefully work on that. Um, and be able to do more stuff during the summer so it make my life a bit easier when we start back into college next year. Another thing you've been very vocal about is your passion for healthy lifestyle, healthy eating. You've mentioned an idea about a bus running from Lidl to from DCU. Could yeah. you explain how that might come about? So um, we have a fantastic lecture here in nursing, Tracy Harrington, and she got myself in touch with another student who's from another college who's currently doing the course in this college. And she was telling us that in her old college there was a little bus. So little paid for this bus to come down to their campus and bring the students up. And I know there's other candidates wants to do something similar. So I'll be working with Tracy and that student and James Gavin, who's the new he head of sports and wellbeing, on being able to implement that for September because on campus there isn't um a great variety of fruit and veg for students and I want to teach students on how to shop in a low budget but eat really healthily. Brilliant, lovely. Thank you so much, Thomas, for taking the time out to speak to us today. Brilliant. Well, there you have it. That's what the sole candidate for clubs officer had to say. Voting commences this Wednesday, and make sure to keep up to date with DCU TV News coverage of the election. I'm Shauna Cohn for DCU TV News.